वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई कम अप विद अ माइंड ब्लोइंग टेक्निक विथ विच यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक वैल्यूज इन ऑन योर फिंगर टिप्स ओके इट इज़ दैट सिंपल सो बेसिकली यू हैव टू लुक एट योर लेफ्ट हैंड ओके सो दिस इज़ योर लेफ्ट हैंड ओके सो नाउ दिस इज माई थम सो योर आई टू पुट जीरो डिग्रीज This is going to be 30 degrees. This is going to be counted as 45 degrees. This is going to be counted as 60 degrees, and this is going to be counted as 90 degrees. So all of these are basically the standard angles which are normally asked for. Okay, and trust me, after this trick, you don't even have to remember the table and everything. Nothing, nothing is needed. Okay, so simple. Now please understand what we are trying to find out is. See, I'll teach you how to find sine. of any of these four angles on the go cos and tan okay all these three things are very very important like i i hope you will understand that if you if you want to find if you found sin then you can find cosec if you have found cos then you can find sec and if you have found tan then you can find cot as well okay so we are just going to focus on these three primary trigonometric ratios now what is the formula for sin theta c please understand that sin theta formula is nothing but fingers root of fingers below upon 2 okay so basically see if you wanted to find sin of 60 degrees okay so what are the number of fingers which are below 60 1 2 three So basically, the answer is root three upon two. Okay, students, if you're liking the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, don't forget at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you can mention in the comment section using the trick shown in the video. Okay. So now let's very quickly try to find out sine of forty-five. So sine forty-five is how many fingers below root two upon two, right? So this can then be cancelled and we get one upon root two. You can still use this also when you are doing your proper calculations. Okay. So now, using this, if we want to find sine of, let's say, sine of zero. Now see, how many fingers are below zero? There are nothing because zero is my thumb, okay? And there are no fingers below thumb, right? Everything is above the thumb, right? So root of zero upon two. So root of zero is zero, and zero upon anything will also get you zero. So that is your answer for sine values, okay? Now coming to the next one what will happen for cos okay so cos formula is root of fingers above upon 2 okay so now let's try and find out what is the value of cos 30 now cos 30 we have three fingers right one Two and three, so root three upon two. So now similarly, let's try for cos sixty. How many fingers are below? Ah, uh, sorry, above cos sixty uh, only one. So root of one upon two, and we know root of one is one. So final answer is one upon two. Okay, I hope you all are getting it. Okay, so this is super super simple. Okay, so now let's try for cos zero. So cos zero has how many fingers above it? One, two, three, and four. So we have root of four upon two, and that's going to be root of four is two. Two upon two gets you one. Students, since I'm explaining, it takes a bit of time, but trust me, you might have gotten the hang of it. And now for tan, I want you to do it on your own. I'll just tell you what to do. What what is the formula you need to know? Okay. Yeah, this is better. Okay, so now for tan, what is your formula? Tan formula is nothing but root of fingers below 
upon root of fingers above okay so so tan theta your let's say for tan um let's say tan 45 so now how many fingers are above tan, sorry below tan 45 is or rather below 45 is 2 and how many fingers are above 45 again 2 so root 2 upon root 2 gets you 1 okay now similarly let's look for um tan 60 tan 60 so tan 60 how many fingers below we have 3 how many fingers above we have 1 so root of 1 is 1 so we just get as root 3 okay now let's very quickly understand what should be value of tan of 0 so tan of 0 how many fingers are below 0 nothing right so 0 now root of 0 please understand 0 upon anything will also get you 0 so final answer we can just say it is just 0 okay so i hope you are getting the hang of it now very quickly if we want to do uh, let's do this orally okay if i want to do cosec cosec of 30 so what is my answer please understand now this will be the reverse okay so my final answer will be root will come here and 2 will come on top okay so 30 cosec 30 basically is nothing but sin 30 formula in reverse so root of fingers below we are going to use so how many fingers are below 30 we have just one so root of 1 is nothing but 1 so final answer is just 2 okay now similarly for sec 30 again we are going to use the same formula for cos but again it will be reversed so 2 will come on top and number of fingers we above 30 will come in below as your denominator so how many fingers are about 30 1 2 and 3 so 2 upon root 3 is my answer for sec 30 so i hope you all are getting how to do these kind of sums just with the help of your left hand just remember this entire thing has been working with the help of my left hand okay now also remember just very quickly revise for sin th sin theta the formula is nothing but root of fingers below upon 2 here it is root of fingers above upon 2 and here it is nothing but root of fingers below upon root of fingers above okay so i hope you have seen how easy this this thing became so now using this logic i want you to tell me what is the value of cot 60 do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for today i will see you in the next video